Welcome back to the halftime report. Time for the ETF Edge, the Transports ETF, the IYT, rallying 2% and exiting correction territory today. Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange with the ETF Edge for us today. The crew to break down how to play the transports, Bob. Hello, Scott. You know, the transports, the trucking stocks, all higher today. IYT up for five straight sessions. But that's not the only way to play the space. The IYT is a price-weighted ETF, just like the Dow Industrials. Then there's the equal-weighted XTN, Spider Transportation ETF. And, of course, the Jets ETF. That tracks the airlines. JETS is the symbol there. Rick Edelman, Edelman Financial Engines. Kevin O'Leary of O'Shares joins us now. Kevin transports up five days in a row, as I mentioned, right across the board. Railroads, truckers up. Union Pacific's near a new high. What's it telling us? It's great. Transports are the index of all indexes. They really gauge how the economy is doing. What it's basically telling us is that the at least domestic economy is firing on all pistons. Even though Buffett, who owns about 15 percent of rail capacity, gave a few warnings about potential slowdowns, but that speaks more to the S&P moving its products out to international markets. This online right now is telling us that we have a good domestic economy. Rick, I do not like market cap weighted indexes, though. This is not the way to go. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to ask you about. The IYT is a price weighted index. It's a Dow index. Dow indexes are price weighted. The problem I have here is that you've got 10 stocks that are 70 percent of the index, Union right. Pacific and a few other stocks smack it around. What do you tell your investors about this? You've got to watch out for price weighted or cap weighted indexes for exactly that reason. The S&P 500 is the same thing. The top 50 stocks have more money in them than the other 450 combined. It's, it, may, it, might, it might make sense if you're trying to track the economy, but it's a lousy investment strategy. So you prefer equal weighted yes. indexes, yes. but there's not as many of them that are out there. No, there are not, and that's why we prefer on the What's really wrong with the idea? Just to take the other side. The biggest companies out there by, mark, by, by shares outstanding and by price should have a bigger weight. Doesn't that make more sense in a way? Well, There's it, a reason market cap won out in this battle. Well, the, the reason it won out is partly because they are trying to track what's going on in the sector, and the bigger companies have a bigger impact than the smaller ones. They have greater liquidity due to their size. They're easier to trade. And so that's kind of the rationale. But from a pure investment perspective, if you're going to buy 10 stocks, and put 90% of your money in three of them, why own the other seven? Yeah, that's a good argument there. Okay, we're not.